Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be testing a new camera and it's from Cadix and it's called the Cadix Rattel or Rattle. I don't know what it's called or how it's pronounced, but yeah, you can go ahead and check that below and fix my pronunciation in the comments below. So this is a pretty interesting camera. One thing, they're stating that it has a minimum of eight second latency. I don't know if that was a minimum or maximum they were stating, but we're gonna check that today so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the profile is really small compared to other cameras, which is really nice. It's competing up there with the run cam, I think, uh, if not about the same or maybe a little bit smaller, but it's definitely smaller than a Fox here in terms of the profile size here. Now on the back, they are using the little crappy plastic paper here that it, it does help to a certain extent, but it's not really nice, especially if you get into a crash and you pop off one of these capacitors or something, that might be a little nightmare. And there we go, just removed it, awesome. Yeah, that's why these aren't really that great. But the overall reduced weight, if that's where everybody was going with this. So some of the things it comes with, we have our little OSD button, we have a little mount, and we have our cables and even a nice little small Allen screwdriver so we can mount our camera if we wanted to. All right, so let's put this to the side and let's take a closer look. So there's a couple things that they're stating that's pretty interesting. One thing is that they're stating their latency, which is going to be tested right now. Another thing what really intrigued me is that it's starlight performance. And what that means is you can just fly off of moonlight or starlight and be able to fly in complete pitch blackness, but you have to have some sort of a light source, like maybe the stars or the moon. Now, I don't know to what extent it'll work that great, but maybe I will try it out over the summer if I do remember. But that's not the point here. We're just gonna go ahead and stick it on the bench and get its latency test. Now, if you don't know what a latency test, it's how fast the image gets processed from here pipe down to your goggles. And that could be very important for latency sensitive applications such as racing or something else you might use it for. So. Let's put it on the bench and uh, let's get started. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get our results in. So we're gonna do two methods. With the LED turning on, we're gonna test its latency and with the LED turning off so we can see what we get here. Now up top, we have the video feed coming in and on the bottom, this line is dictating when the LED turns on, which is up, and then when it turns off, it goes down. So that's how we know the LED is turning on and off. So first results, first test we're gonna run is to do it with the LED turning on. So let's go ahead and take our first sample. All right, and they're stating, I think, minimum of eight millisecond latency. So we're gonna zoom in here. Now, as you can tell, the LED was off, boom, it turned on, and then we can see it translate in the video feed right here. So we calculate from here to here uh, the time it took to register in the video feed, thus giving us the latency. So we're getting 20.20 .20 milliseconds. Now, I can tell you it's within the safe zone, but there's plenty of cameras out there that are a lot faster than this. All right, so again, pretty consistent, 20.20 .20 milliseconds. And again, 20.20 .20 milliseconds. You know, you can give or take 0.1 of a millisecond. But yeah, it's really consistent. It's about, see, it just take, it always takes a full half a frame to register. So two of these make a full frame, the odd lines and the even lines down the frame. And it's always taking one half of a frame to register, never more, never less, as we can tell. Oh, well, it's really consistent actually. Look, it even registered in this half a frame. So it's just really consistent on 20 milliseconds with the LED turning on. That's interesting. Well, 20 milliseconds, that's it. Really simple. Now let's do it with the LED turning off here. Whoops, all right. So here we can see the LED was on and you can see that in the video feed. When the LED turned off, we could see it go to zero right there. And that took quite longer. Usually cameras do have an increase in latency with the LED turning off. 29.6 milliseconds, close to 30 milliseconds, which I always say anything above the 25 millisecond is a no-go zone. But then again, this is the LED turning off and I don't know how this translates into real life. Very difficult to test such a thing. Um, but yeah, the LED turning on was good. It's within the save zone under 25 millisecond. For me personally, it feels this starts to feel disorienting over 25 milliseconds. However, with the LED turning on, it was doing pretty good. With the LED turning off, it's increased five milliseconds or four, we could say four milliseconds over the safe zone. That's my opinion. It doesn't mean this camera's bad. This just means there's cameras that are faster out there. Now this could have the best quality on the market and it might do the job just fine for you. But if you're looking for a latency sensitive application, such as racing, then you might wanna 
invest into something else. Uh, this would be towards freestyle, small builds, or whatever. But for racing, I wouldn't personally recommend here. Um, it does have quite a lot. It's very consistent too, actually. LED turning on 20 milliseconds, LED turning off 29 point. Let's actually zoom in and try to get this exact here. 29.7 milliseconds. Let's go another result. The latency of the LED turning off is 30 milliseconds and with it turning on is around 20 milliseconds. That's pretty good, but there's obviously better. And um, let's take one last look at it and we'll take it from there. All right guys, so this is the camera, the Cadex Rattel. Um, so far it's okay. There's obviously a lot better. Now the latency isn't super terrible, but it's above, especially with the LED turning off, it's above my you know, what I call my save zone, which is the 25 millisecond zone. Uh, but I don't know how that translates into real life. And hopefully the starlight performance, as they're stating, performs really well because this will enable you to fly in the nighttime uh, in summer, which is really cool without having to add some kind of a infrared light into your, your quad setup. But um, yeah, overall, it's a really nice camera, pretty small. Let's actually check its weight here because I haven't checked the weight of this camera just yet. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, eight grams. This isn't the most precise scale on the planet, but give or take a gram. So that's gonna conclude my review of the Cadex Rattle. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and it was useful to someone out there. And if it was, please consider clicking the links down below. It was greatly support the channel and come join my Patreon to help support uh, my projects such as the Open Hardware ESC. If you missed that, I'll have a link down below and also the Open Hardware Flight Controller, which you can build your own flight controller, which is really cool. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.